Here's a quick demo on flaring blow tubes to match the diameter of the larger tube that you're trying to connect to. And I'm coating the tools in some natural beeswax. And as the beeswax makes contact with that hot glass, it'll create a layer of vapor or steam that will protect the tool and allow it to kind of skate over the glass. So I'll put it in there at an angle and hold it against the inside wall to stabilize it and then rotate it around a couple times and it'll make a nice little flare. And you have to be mindful about how large you flare it open for what you're trying to connect up to. Now here's a quick trick to open up a tube, heat up the end, fold it over, it'll cause a line of stress, and then whack it off with a metal tool. Now I'll go in with a larger pair of jacks and do another flare. Now you wanna make sure that lip is really hot and it's kind of a gradient of heat, you know, hotter towards the lip and then cooler as it goes back. And here's that trick again. You really do wanna make sure your studio is fireproof. And I am knocking these into a little water bucket, not actually like on the floor or anything. Now here's a larger tube, a 26 millimeter. And I have it on a roller in the background there that does help keep it straight. Now I'll go ahead and flare this some more. You have to keep in mind to heat more of the base and not so much the lip this time, or else you'll just condense that lip down and just end up shrinking it. And I didn't do it here, but you would really at this point want to open those jacks up a little bit just to give better contact. It'll help stabilize and flare a little bit better for you. And it's looking very nice, very round. I'm gonna see if it fits up to this 40 millimeter tube. And it looks like it does pretty well, a little bit larger. And that's really okay because you have to keep in mind as you heat it up to make that attachment, that flare is gonna shrink down that lip and it should be the just the right size for it. And thank you for checking out this episode of Glass Myths. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.